So spend your energy on things that are going to be equivalent to the same amount of energy that you've used. And, and that's very important. And you need to be strategic by having a written program of your activities, your objectives, and your investment criteria, such as your return on requirements, so, such as your return requirements, right? It could be the length of the investment. You need to decide upfront, am I going to invest in this real estate business for the next five years? What is my exit strategy? And, and that's the second part. You need to always have your ex exit strategy in mind before you even step a foot to begin your journey. And once you've done that, then what the next question you're asking yourself within the same uh, workable or realistic plan is, what is the risk tolerance that I'm, I'm allowed to, to like experience or I'm, I'm going to tolerate as, the, as an investor? And that's key because you can go ahead and invest blindly thinking that, you know what, because it's cheap, I'm going to make money. It's not always the case. Cheap is very expensive sometimes. So you need to be able to assess your risk tolerance uh, in terms of the location, the type of property that you want to invest in. And once you have that plan written down, stick to it. Don't change that plan. Don't go sit in an auction somewhere and say, oh, because this guy is buying a property for a million, I need to now be egotistic and buy it for 1.2 million. No, your return on investment strategy says if you buy it for 1.2 million, you're going to make 10% and you want to make 15% and above. So you stick to the plan, it's, you need to be patient and you're going to get your deal.